Hey guys, I have good news for you. I am here in the free hydrogen price list, which you can see on the Fox Electrolyzer homepage. And we have great new products in the list with the technical details and the prices like hydrogen cars, like combined heat and power stations, like hydrogen heaters. Now Canada is in the list and you can see the price for the boiler. Uh, of course, fuel cells with the technical data, start up cycles, lifetime, and the price, hydrogen systems from all over the world, and new, we have the first reversible electrolyzer. But the exciting news, you can also see in this Excel sheet, under H2 cylinder prices, that the benefit or the amortization of electrolysis is getting better. Why? Because if we check out the price development at Linde or Air Liquid or what technical gas provider ever, we will see that from 2021 to 2024, the gas price rose about 45% percent the hydrogen gas price M mostly this is made from methane but with a fox electrolyzer you can make hydrogen from photovoltaics or wind energy we see for instance that a 50 liter bottle at 200 bar costs now around 180 euro and same goes for the gas station prices. It started at 12 euro 50 in 2021 and now you can pay up to 14 euro 50 or what I see right now in Groningen where it's winter uh, is you pay 21 euro for a kilogram of hydrogen. Last year at the free hydrogen webinar people could ask the question but also we ask them what they think the energy prices will be. So now, one year later, we will see what the energy prices really became. Hello, I could start, probably. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, so I just fought this event. My name is Lasse Ulrich, and I'm a student. Currently, I'm doing international business with a focus on procurement supply chain. And I found this event on LinkedIn because I'm personally very interested in hydrogen and would like to work in the industry later on. And I thought... Uh, this webinar might be helpful to get a good introduction into the industry and yeah. Do you think oil prices will be lowering again? Um, I think that in the short term, probably the prices especially will stay high, probably, especially in Europe because of uh, the war mainly and the, especially Germany has a lot of problems with it. But in the long term, I think we will have a price drop when uh, sustainable renewable energies become more and more part of the market. Also, China is doing a lot of that. And since Europe and the Western world tries to keep up with China, they should put a lot of effort into uh, renewable energies. And especially Germany tries to plan a lot in hydrogen. And once they get started with that and the prices of hydrogen drop, probably will be more competitive and prices should drop when competition is high. So yeah, in the long term, I think prices should drop. Well, to introduce myself, uh, I'm an um, old age pensioner. I'm interested in the, well, electricity by, by photovoltaic. And uh, at the moment I sell my, my electricity from my, from my rooftop to, to this uh, uh, RVE. Uh, but in two years uh, that finishes. And then I must uh, try to find out what, what else I can do with my electricity. So maybe there is a chance to, to change uh, to, to hydrogen then. Do you think oil prices will be lowering again? I personally think that the prices will go down in the next year, uh, de also depending on the, on the political party we have. So when the Greens are more uh, in power, uh, surcharges will come and uh, so the prices may go, go up again. Ingo, uh, do you want to present yourself? 
Uh, General, it's possible, no problem with that. Yeah, I'm uh, 57 years old, uh, ARF engineer, working in the space industry, and I'm generally interested in uh, these hydrogen, hydrogen things because a lot of work is done in our area uh, using it again. So uh, I was in my free time, had a little bit of time, and found your webinar today, and so I'm glad to see some news on that area. Ingo, what do you say? Is uh, gasoline becoming cheaper? Um, partly, maybe. Um, I don't know exactly because my crystal ball doesn't work now. But anyhow, in general, um, energy will become uh, more and more expensive. It's also just a political thing based on this CO2 debate we have. Also, these uh, natural problems we are facing. So uh, energy itself based on uh, carbon uh, um, will be increasing, I think. And uh, that's it for the moment, I think. I don't know exactly, but it's also depending on the, on the war we have uh, in the Ukraine. There are several things not everybody can take into account. So it's uh, very hard to um, make uh, a forecast what will come but in general, uh, they will decrease. Okay, uh, Mr. Acosta, would you like to, to tell us your story? Yes, of course. Thank you. Well, first of all, I introduce myself. I'm Pavel Rizzo. I'm Mexican, but I've been here in France uh, since almost uh, five years ago in EDF. That, it's an enterprise that is working with renew renewables. So today, uh, the idea is to, to produce hydrogen from renewable electricity, mainly for wind and PV. So I'm curious about uh, your webinar. Do you think oil prices will be lowering again? Well, uh, you know, I, I try to be a little bit uh, positive in this way about uh, energy here in Europe, I will, uh, I will say in Europe. I think that prices will drop. I don't think that as low as they were before the war or before uh, this, uh, uh, this natural gas uh, embargo. I think on my view that uh, the price will decrease, but not as before. Thank you very much. So I hope you get the point. These are just few opinions and uh, this is surely not something about the truth what uh, what is going on with the energy prices but let me know in the comments down below if you think uh, that these people are right prices are lowering uh, but not that much and in the long run renewables are getting cheaper and uh, fossils are getting more expensive so here's my own observation about the uh, propane prices at stores around my area and I see there was an increase, that's your graph, but also a decrease. Let's take a look at the real data. What we see here are the energy prices from 2005 till 2020-23, exactly the month of May and on the y-axis we see the price index. The blue line right now is the natural gas price and we see the peak in 2022, which also affected the electricity price, which is obviously made from natural gas when there are no renewable energies, but also coal or lignite, which shows the, the, almost the same price development over time uh, like natural gas. The surprising thing just for this graph is that the crude oil obviously was not affected by the Ukrainian war nor by the pipeline. So uh, the peak of crude oil was not that high. But let's take a deeper look at the time frame we were talking about in the webinar which uh, was from, let's say, 21 on. And then we look a little bit more detailed in, on a monthly basis. And there we see the webinar was in December 2022. 
that the audience was quite right. Yes, the price fell. And if we compare it to 21, uh, it found uh, almost lowering uh, spot about 33% more expensive uh, than before. The prognosis uh, the audience had in 2022 was quite right. Fossil fuels are getting cheaper. I'm always impressed by the competence of the audience. Like everybody is becoming an energy expert right now and we can learn from each other. And uh, I'd like to announce that we have this same webinar like last year at exactly the same date, the 28th of December. It's maybe becoming a tradition. I, um, I welcome everyone, no matter if <laughs> airspace engineer or just whatever, uh, running a small business. If you want to join the 28th of December at 4 p.m. Central European time, you find the link on the Volks Electrolyzer website. I would really appreciate to see you there. And that's it.